In the age where no one debates anymore, the conversations don't get any scrutiny, and so the details tend to elude us. As a left-hand path practitioner myself, I reject those methods. Keeping that same energy, I'll ask this question. Is there a higher and lower self? It is no longer in fashion to worship some omnipotent God above or to fear a devil lurking around each and every corner. Not just for your run-of-the-mill spiritualists or your leftish occultists, but even for those who claim the left-hand path. The spookism of old that had cradled the masses is being rejected in record numbers. The philosopher Nietzsche made the statement that God is dead. And this commentary has reverberated through the Western world with the vigor of its own. The super ego shackles of antiquity are now falling away. The issue though, is that what has replaced them may be far more sinister, if only in a subtle way. The notion of a higher and lower self has become very popular in recent years. Instead of a god out there somewhere, the new claim is that it's all you. In fact, it was always you. Everything is within, and to seek anything outside of yourself is folly. I won't disagree with these ideas, but what I will say is the same thing I always say, is that the devil is in the details. It takes the omnipotence of what was once God and attributes it to the higher self. It takes the negative behavior of the devil and attributes that to the lower self. All the while, this process is focusing more and more attention to the personality and body. A deeper agreement to the illusion of physical life as opposed to going within and actually addressing what is behind the appearance of the physical world and what is you. Where these ideas are lacking, is in how the self in general is framed. With this new acknowledgement of a higher and lower self, the nature of the self in general doesn't change at all, and instead is transmuted into a glorified and complicated personality, a deeper agreement to physical life. If anything, these new notions only serve to blur the line as to what constitutes that which is outside of the self and that which is within. Notions like this are part of the reason that people believe that what within self means is within the body. Why concepts of heaven and things like the Christ mind or Godhead are made mundane and set their focus upon unlocking something within the flesh of the body that somehow makes it divine once it's unlocked. All the while, subtly perpetuating the agreements of humanity with more complicated and baseless steps. The framework of a higher and lower self is another convoluted redressing of right-hand path pageantry. A new way of packaging the idea of a personal God into a garnishment of the personality. Changing what you think will only give you new words to say and a new dressing on old ideas. The goal is to change how you think. That is what will make all the difference.